Hey brothers and sisters, um, I just wanted to share something with you guys. Um, the Lord is really dealing with me regarding praying um, for uh, the mercy of America. Now I know many of you have heard about the Temple of Baal that um, they are erecting in New York City, in London, and all other parts of the world um now what these people are doing is very very idolatrous it's very dangerous it's very blasphemous to god and america have been storing up wrath for the day of judgment for years and decades and centuries and god has been so merciful that he has spared us and he has not poured out fire from heaven. And so now God is telling us to pray for the mercy of America because judgment and wrath is imminent. Now, when the Lord told me to pray, I was distracted. I was doing all type of stuff. I was in my phone watching videos on YouTube and, um, I just got really tired, like, suddenly. I just got extremely, extremely tired. And I was just like, Lord, like, I'm, like, too tired right now, Lord. I can't pray. If I pray, Lord, I'm going to fall asleep in the middle of prayer. And so I ended up dozing off, right? And when I dozed off, the Holy Spirit, like, shook me awake. And when I woke up, I woke up to helicopters. And there were helicopters like all in the sky, all just flying around my city. And it was the weirdest thing ever. Mind you, it's 2 a.m. in the morning here where I am. 2 a.m. Why are there helicopters? So many helicopters. And I still hear them outside. Why are there so many helicopters? I don't hear no sirens. I don't know if they're searching for someone or something. I don't know if they're doing a drill. I don't know what's going on. Either way, it was weird. It was creepy. And after I saw that, I just got this really eerie feeling in my spirit. And the Holy Spirit quickened me. And after that, I was just like, you know what, Lord, it's time to pray. I'm praying. I don't care how I'm feeling. I don't care how tired I am. I got to pray. I got to seek your face. I got to cry out to you right now on behalf of America, on behalf of those who are lost, on behalf of those who don't know Jesus, on behalf of the lukewarm Christians, on behalf of the backslidden Christians, and on behalf of the sleeping church. Now, after I got done praying, the Lord led me, the Holy Spirit led me to this scripture. Psalms 132. Lord, remember David and all his afflictions, how he swore unto the Lord and vowed unto the mighty God of Jacob. Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes. Or slumber to my eyelids until I find out a place for the Lord and habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Now, brothers and sisters, the Lord is telling us that it is time to come up out of our sleep and slumber. Many of us have not been praying like we should many of us have not been seeking the lord like we should we love our sleep too much we love our food too much we're not fasting we're lazy we're being lazy y'all we're being lazy like for real many of us don't want to sacrifice a lot of things for god but yet and but yet he said that we are to count the cost if you are not willing to give up everything for my sake, you are not worthy of me. 
So yes, we should be willing to give up some sleep. We should be willing to sacrifice some time for work, to sacrifice some time from our families. Yes, we need to, because the day and the hour that we're living in is so crucial. America is depending on the prayers of the, of the saints. If we are not praying, many people are going to perish. If we are not praying, many people are going to die in their sin and go to hell. Brothers and sisters, wake up from your sleep and from your slumber. Deny yourself and your flesh. Deny your plate. Fast and pray. America's depending on it. Seek the Lord now while he may still be found.